All right, YouTube. Today we are going to play some Jund, some good old, some good old Jund. It's kind of the same thing that it's been, just a pile of creatures, removal spells, uh, discard spells, and two for ones. So this is not necessarily my my favorite deck or one of the better decks in modern, but I'm excited to play it because playing Jund is just fun. I'm not sure if the list is all that great either. Like I took, a, I saw some lists that we're playing a bunch of different spells. I was like, whatever. We're just going to play this to have some fun. What's going on, Steve? I assume this is Steve. But I might be wrong. Yeah, you said you like Colorgon's Command, so I just kind of like put two and two together. <clears throat> Someone told me that I should cut one of my Bloodbraid Elves for a Kalidus, which, you know, kind of makes some sense, but is not nearly as cool as cascading into the perfect card. How's it going, Tim? <clears throat> and, like... I just took cards I wanted to play with. Like, I love Huntmaster of the Fells. This is one of my favorite cards to play with, so I just put it in my sideboard. I don't really know if it's that good or not, but I just, I want, I want to flip my Huntmaster and kill Phantasmal Images. Bang. Bang. My Scrawnst is out of date. Oh no, my Scrawnst. I saw you played some Death Shadow last night. You got some you got some help from Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Heater. I think. Ooh. I bet we are pretty good against a windswept heat strategy. You know, I'm just excited. You know what, Rob? Our whole deck is going to line up perfectly in this entire league. All right, we're going to draw the right spells at the right time. That could kill us, though. All right, here's where we go. Here's how we do this. We're going to go. We're going to fetch our Overgrown Tomb. We're going to play our Dark Confidant. We're just going to jund them out, you know. We're just going to hope that we get to untap here. I read CFB mirror. Well, I was on the other side, but it was good. Yeah, I I just like Huntmaster. Uh oh. Rut row. Rut row. Okay. No Dustwatch recruiter. This for Seer is not Dustwatch recruiter. Kitchen Finks. That's infinite mana. Right. Yep, they don't get a plus one, plus one counter. All right, both both teams tried hard. Both teams tried hard. Okay. We both, like, we both tried hard. We both were in the game, and we made decisions. And they mattered. All right, I'm going to begin sideboarding. All right. This card's good. This card's good. This card's good. This card's good. These cards are maybe good. Cards that aren't great. Probably like some number of my Liliana the Veils. Some number of my Colagon's Commands. Yeah, Surgical's like not that great, but we put it in the maybe category. And then one one blood right out. Yeah. Is three mana to shock a creature really that good? I mean we have Maelstrom Pulse, which is like so maybe like Maelstrom Pulse is just better or is not as good as Colagon's command.
We could just like go with like the infect strategy. We could go with like the infect strategy where you just board out your Tarmogoyfs and you're just nothing but like removal spells and like grind. No, it's my favorite card. I saw you. I saw the post there from Rob Meadows. There, I have not read it yet, though. I did see it. I meant to read it, but then I was like, Rob is just awful. I know that there were matches back in the day where you used to just make your deck like a pile of removal, card draw, and like Bloodbraid Elves. Like a long time ago. But that's why also when you had Deathbraid Shaman. I'm just going to try this. I don't think Tomer Wife is very good against this deck. So, we're going to try this, because we're looking to have fun. I know, like, years ago, people in matchups like these um, would get rid of it. Dude, anything's going to win the game. It's, like, we're going to win the game with, like, a Scavenging Ooze, or, like, a Bloodbred Elf or a Huntmaster, or either Liliana. Like, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to have that... It's going to be that hard to win the game. Heater. This isn't that great, but we're going to keep it. If we get, like, Dark Confidant off the top. Rakdos control. <laughs> I'm going to be pretty liberal with this Anger of the Gods. Because we have Dose. So, like, I'll probably just take my twofer here. Get that trophy. You ready for this? We're gonna rip. We're gonna rip a blood red elf like a professional here. You know, what card would be sweet right now, Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> we get trophied. Sweet. Uh, let's get a forest. Get as much green mana in play. Like, this is going to get me Overgrown Tomb. Just so we're the most set up. We're about to get companied. We're still, like, okay against the company. All right, we can figure out how bad we're about to get collected companied here. So let's just take the Dust Watch Recruiter. We can handle these two cards here. And um, like if we have to fight the combo, we just have to worry about this collecting company. But yeah, like this card's a card that threatens to like if they draw another if they draw like a land next turn, they can go like play Dust Watch Recruiter, draw a card. Then my opponent's probably like jokes on you, collect the company and deal with eternal witness. Oh, I should play my land. I'm going to play it tapped. Put this up here so we can see it. Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness. Is just gonna get back company? Okay. Alright, we're gonna let him untap here. 
they get frisky on their turn, then we'll just like we're gonna bolt this devoted druid at the I'm just gonna kill this right now. Because if we let this resolve, it'll just make mana and then be able then now they're gonna make mana and company. And they're gonna have a summoning sick druid. And we can anger them next turn. Oh, I should have killed it again. That was stupid. I should have like shot it again because if they if they would have hit another vizier, they could have gone off there. So we yield through the end of this turn. At least we get to like mitigate, kind of mitigate our issues a little bit with. Oh, that's not bad. So let's take a look. Let's just take this scavenging ooze. We'll get angry. God, that's what a timer wife be right now. Okay, there's this was here. Into tracker, okay. So they're gonna be able to get a little bit of value off of these scries, but the tireless tracker is just much scarier than the viscerous here. Put a card on the bottom, okay. Dark confidant. That's pretty good too. Um, is there anything that we want to eat right now? I don't think so. Okay. So now we just mow their graveyard down. All right, tireless tracker. I'm going to eat their scavenging ooze also. Okay, we're gonna put a count on this, sure. It's not terrible. This is like such a depressing part about scavenging use when they just like grind out your soul. And then we're not going to use the last green mana on our turn, on their turn, because we're going to want to be able to eat Collective Company and Assassin's Trophy in case they rip like a company here. All right, well, now, now we know we're good for takeoff. So let's just get rid of this. Opponent probably cracked this for two. No chump blocks for you. Put a card on top. Putting a card on top is kind of scary because it's probably a way to deal with this scavenging ooze. It's like a way to deal with scavenging ooze or like collect a company, I think. I don't really think you can keep anything else on top. Kitchen Finks does not really matter. All right, now we're just going to eat the rest of their graveyard. Yeah, we, we can even eat these lands because we don't have to worry about a Tom Wife. Our plan is coming together. Okay. 
So they have to block. We'll eat it with the trigger on the stack and then shrink this. God, scavenging is slaps so hard in these kind of matchups. Then we can shrink this. They put a card on the bottom. <clears throat> Collected company. Wasn't a bad rip. All right, let's scoop it up. So we did kind of feel a little anemic without Tarmogoyfs. So I'm kind of down to boarding some Tarmogoyfs back in. I'm, I'm thinking that the Bloodbred Elves are a little slow. But we get to the point where if we had these Bloodbred Elves at any time, it'd be sweet. <clears throat> so, like, maybe these are heinous. They're just kind of slow. But, like, Liliana the Veil is also not that great on the draw. What do we think about this, chat? This is like an, this is like an adult version of the deck. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna be we're gonna be big boys. But back in the day against creature decks, a lot of the time people used to cut Tarmogoyfs and they would just turn their deck into like Bobs, Death Raid Shamans, Bloodbraid Elves, and then just like removal. And they would just and then they would grind people into the dirt. But they also had like Liliana to do that with. So I don't know. This is like before the time of scavenging ooze. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. All right. We'll keep it. We got our we got our sideboard card again. Though with this hand, I'm gonna push a turn one bird. Yeah. I mean, we, we saw this not go well in the first game, but I think it's just kind of a recipe to prepare disaster to let one of these creatures untap here. I would like to draw a Bob. I've got to assume that Bob is just the absolute stones in this matchup. Oh wow, our opponent missed land drops. Let's get an overgrown tomb. Because I wanted to, Rafi. Because I enjoy actually have I fixed my stream decker? I don't think I have. Or my, my cardboard live. Excuse me. My extensions. Cardboard live. Configure Courser of Crufix. Um, streaming Magic Online. Upload. I think it. Give me one second, chat. I'm trying to figure out. I think this is it. Yeah, that should be what we're what we're working with. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Yield until next end step. They have a scavenging ooze on top of their library. All right, um, let's just get an overgrown tomb. That scavenging is going to be annoying because we have to kill this Corsair Crufix. 
We kind of also had to kill the scavengers, though. So let me see what they have in their hands. See if we can... Jesus. We just have to take this Eternal Witness. And hopefully they jam something that we can... Kologon's command next turn. Because we can't, we can't let them... We have to kill this. We can't let them draw a card. We're going to need something like... We're going to need like a Bob in order to, to pull ahead here. Yeah, that hand, that hand slaps. Hopefully they just run out of the tireless tracker. They should play kitchen things though. Yeah, that's a good play. All right, we're not doing it. I may be day drinking. It's no longer the day, Rob. So what do we do? Do we just like, because they have this plus scavenging news. I'm kind of down to just Kolagon's command this in my opponent's upkeep just to like not to not take damage and then get a card out of their hand that matters. Because we're not, they're not going to play Tireless Tracker. If they play Ooze, they're not going to fall into Kolagon's command. Like, we've got to slog through this. Because we're totally cool with them discarding a collected company, Rafi. That is, like, totally fine. Oh, yeah, it doesn't come back. Because we get that cage. So we actually got a clean old twofer. Scoos. They played the Scoos. Oh, this was Jun Shadow. Look what thinking got you. Let's get Stomping Ground. You know, do your thing. Eat some stuff. Yeah, we just gotta get rid of this thing. Because this scavenging is just gonna body us. I kind of want to try to keep my life total as high as possible so that if I draw a Bob, I can leverage it. Yield until next end step. Devoted Druids. They have Tireless Tracker, Collected Company in their hand. I'm really surprised they're not... I guess they did see two Anger the Gods. Last game. Another command would be sweet. That's pretty nice too. So let's go red. So now they have to cast a spell. Oh, Huntmaster is just one of my favorite cards. Oh yeah, they can't. Oh, I'm so stupid. The company doesn't even work with a graph digger's cage. I'm just like losing my mind. Losing my mind, chat. Shall I? Jesus. Yield through this turn. We're just going to pass. Shoot this shall I. I just completely zoned out on this grab trigger's gauge. Can I not deal damage? Oh, because it has to do the opponent and then a creature the opponent controls. Okay. They're tracking. I want a Bob. Dude, we're just firing up this Raging Ravine. We're getting in there.
They're gonna be able to put counters on their creatures starting next turn. They can just Gavney Township anyways. Oh, you're gonna crack a clue. Then look to trade with the tracker. So we're just gonna take it. It's probably not a good sign for me. <clears throat> Rut row. The Hellmaster are going to be huge. All their creatures are going to be huge. All of these things are going to be huge. We're going to be in trouble. Bean Hunter. We're going to take it for now. That's a nice draw. So we fire up Raging Ravine. It's four mana. We're going to have plenty left over. So let's play this. Leave as much green as possible. The scavenger is also going to pad our light total, which is nice. <clears throat> we'll probably just chunk this tireless tracker. This turn. Cracking their clue. Okay. Don't find a way to kill this. Scavenging is, please. Eat this. Uh, eat this. Now we can fire up Ravine and attack with the scavenging news as well. Uh, can we play Bob? We probably we probably have to play Bob. We can one, two, three. We're at a virtual four. But we can go back up to seven. Fire up ravine, block. I mean, they have to block something this turn. So I think we're just going to fire this up and then play Bob. Question is are we attacking with scavenging use? And I think the answer is yes. If they go like, we eat two creatures, this becomes a 6-6. Six, six. We can either trade with this, trade with this, get we can get this off the battlefield, gain two life, go to nine, get rid of this. Alternatively, I can just attack with ravine. Should have thought of this before I fired it up. It's kind of an interesting spot. Can he, I can also just eat three creatures, then beat a double block. So we don't have to play Bob. He 
Because you just have like one path sitting right there suspiciously. All right, I do think I'm going to eat two creatures here. And then pass. Don't path my ooze. Okay. We have the ability to gain at least two more life with Bob's trigger on the stack. And we can just chump this tireless tracker if we need to. We're turning the corner. This is, we're, we're like right here. We need to get over here. We're getting there. All right, block. All right, come on, Bob. Thoughtseize, Kolagon's command. So they have to block both my um they have to block my raging ravine and my uh and my scavenging use this turn if i attack with everything they likely put the shalai on here then go here and here and then i can Kolagon's command to finish it off and return my bob while gaining to life and having Bob as a potential chum blocker if I need to. Well, that does sound a little risky. But it does get all the creatures off the board. And I get my Huntmaster back, more than likely, because they have to block both. They might put this in front of here, but then the, sh then the Shalai dies. Yeah, so I think we're in good shape here. So we're just going to fire up here, and I think I'm going to send with the team. Because if I send with a team, they put this. They need to double block here. We're going to get our Huntmaster back unless they have a removal spell. And I think I'm going to hold back with Bob. Okay, so now we get Huntmaster back, and that should be that should do it for us. Right click on the prey, attack all and ravine. Big fan of that attack all, aren't you, Teddy? It's flips, which is nice. We have a four four. Got him. Got him with the old Jundarino. We're going to go grab some water and some socks. I'll be right back. That feels so good to do, which is like what Jund does to people. Like, it feels so good to just like Jund, like grind somebody into the dirt, which is what that deck is pretty decent at doing. Doesn't always happen, but it feels good when it does. Yeah, I did play against a creature deck, Teddy. That's how that's supposed to go. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Wow. Sit down and get queued in. So good at this. <clears throat> good 19 people in here already. I hope everyone's having a good night. And I appreciate y'all for showing up. My scrunched. Let's play first. And I would like to keep. Discard spell Dark Confidant. Is this how they draw it up? Oh, Mountain Rider. Thank you very much for the subscription. I missed it. I appreciate you. Appreciate you doing that. Oh, we're playing against Death Shadow. So we can't protect. We're going to end up just trading our entire board here. So everything's closed, so we're just going to take Snapcaster Mage. Because, like, they're going to thought seize our Bob. You know, they're going to thought seize our Kolagon's command. We want to or thought seize Bob or Kolagon. So what we want to do is we want to end the game with a Dark Confidant play. But we're just going to take their two their two for one, though, because the game is likely going to go a little long. This should be interesting. No, I don't ever edit anything. On YouTube, it is just not worth the time. Comes thought sees. Okay. <clears throat> Took my command. Okay. We'd like to draw Liliana. All right, we drew an overgrown tomb. So we're not going to show them that overgrown tombs, but we're going to go fetch an overgrown tomb. We're probably going to get stomping grounds at this point. And then we're going to play scavengers. Because the last thing that we want is for this scavenging news to trade. We, we just want we, we want this Dark Confidant to be the end goal here. Like Bobby Bobby B is gonna win us the game here. You know, serum visions. They just go like dismember Death Shadow, and that would be like super scary. Because they go dismember down to eight. Shock next turn. They just crack me for seven. I think they're going to do it. Yeah, they're paying costs. They know I have Bob. So this just must mean they have Gurmag Angler or Death Shadow. Yeah. Liliana. Tilt. And I guess we're just going to play this while it comes into play ta untapped. So we have Water Grave Serum Visions. What do we lose to? Do we just lose to like Shockland Battle Rage? No, that's 14. We could like die because of our Bob if they do that. Like that probably isn't a terror. Like, if they have a battle race, they probably should just use it. Because we're not blocking here at all. What is this, Gurmag Angler? Rot Row. Alright, greatness. That's pretty great. That is not bad either. <clears throat> so should I fetch a swamp and then edict them?
I think we're going to do that. We're going to get Swamp. Because they play three Lightning Bolts, so I don't really want to like fetch Swamp, fetch Shock here. Yeah, we can't win if there's a stab. But such is life. Don't do it to me. You bastard. All right, yield through this turn. Our opponent's going to attack with all. We're going to block this Death Shadow. And then we're going to bolt our opponent. And we're going to hope that works out for us. Bolt you. The tables have turned. You gonna stub this? Snap stub, okay. Now we're on no outs, right? Because the Snapcaster Mage just blocks. Even if we go like into term like Liliana into Tarmogoyf. Yeah. They got us. GG's opponent. G G's. <clears throat> Yep, that was an out. That was an out. Maybe we shouldn't have taken the Snapcaster Mage with the discard spell. I don't know. All right, cards that are good. Not a lot. These cards are OK. These cards are not great. And I think leaving in like a random lightning bolt is probably better than like a fulminator mage. Huntmaster is not even that great, but it's just like a grindy thing. I think fulminator is like decent. It's probably okay if we're on the play. Hey, how's it going? They are nameless. I don't even think Fulminator is that good. I've never really liked Fulminator mages in like the the like against these decks because our whole plan is to go long anyways, and like going long, they're gonna recuperate from the mana screw. So I don't think Fulminator mage is that good. I think it's just okay. Oh no, I'm just playing new stuff there. Nameless. Yeah, I think we want all the rest of our cards. We actually don't have a lot of ways to kill Death Shadow. Now that I look into this. Which is a little scary. No one believes in us. Yeah, no, now what? It won a Grand Prix? Yeah, the deck's, the deck's still nuts. Like, no, we need Inquisition of Kozilek. We played it in the dark times, yes. You need Inquisition of Kozilek against these decks because the way that the Shadow decks beat the Jun decks is when they just cast too many spells. Like, the, dash, the, the Jun deck has to try to stay lean. Oh, gross. Yeah, we got a mulligan. If we had, like, more one-mana spells, maybe, but... All right, this hand's pretty solid. And you are scavenging ooze. All right, we'll put that on... Up. We got a comedian in the chat. So this is going to take target way to deal with Dark Confidant.
All right, tail. Our opponent has two ways to deal with Dark Confidant. But well, they don't have a way to deal with Tarn Wars. So let's get rid of this Inquisition. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't. I think Fulminator Mage is like marginal at best, and I would much rather have cards that can interact. So this is kind of interesting. If we play Tarmogoyf, our opponent gets the option to Lightning Bolt it. And then our Bob lives, which I'm kind of down for. No, they have to fetch. I'm stupid. I zoned out. I derped. It's still right to do anyways. Because, like, even if I knew they had Fatal Push, I'd play Time Life. They milled over a push, which is nice. We just play a tap land, okay? That's nice. So let's start with this. My opponent stubs this. I think, well, I'm going to pay for it. We're just going to get, like, it delays us a turn from our Bob, but it's a two for one. Tilt. All right, so we're just going to take Snapcaster Mage. Then we'll attack with Tarmogoyf and play attack land. I do like saying attack with Tarmogoyf. I have missed that. I do like me a Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> Ooh, our Tarmogoyf's big. But it's not bigger than a Gurmag Angler. Tilt. Yeah, I remember the last time I came in here, you talked about how you were playing four color. Indu Shadow. So they have a ravine. They have stub as well. It kind of sucks they can use their mana here no matter what. No, they can't, not necessarily. Uh, I don't really want to play my Bob. If I attack them, they go to six. The shadow's huge. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. I don't even know who Ben Friedman is. I think they used their Thought Scour. No, they didn't. Okay. Nope, they didn't. <clears throat> I just try my best and pray for not face Dylan. I think I'm like undefeated against you in these. Not Maybe not undefeated, but I've won quite a bit. Snapcaster Mage, okay. This is where we get ground into the dirt. We draw Lily out of the veil off the top. Oh, fatal push. Okay, that's a good play from our opponent. We even they even have Liliana covered because of the Snapcaster Mage. All right, spin it. All right. I guess we just edict them and pass.
And, oh, Gurmag, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. We're going to make them Edict. I think I'm going to pass. Because if they want to kill this Blood Bright Elf, I'm going to make them use a Lightning Bolt. And if we get the Light, if they use the Lightning Bolt, then we have, we can play Bob. And, like, Bob, Bob is the end game here. Like, I think if I can set this Bob up, I'm in good shape. We can just bolt, yeah. Where are you going with this? You going here? So I know they have Stubborn Denial and two other cards. This is a Gurmag Angler. Gurmag Angler with Stubborn Denial. Well, I appreciate that. And now we'll pass. And if they try to kill this Bob, we're going to deal with this Gurmag Angler right now. And if they let me go to my end step, I'm going to just trade this off with the Stubborn Denial, I think. Because if I draw two cards a turn, then I'm gonna I'm gonna need my mana. I guess I might as well just do it. They might So then it's going to get the Stubborn Denial out of their hand. We're going to take five and go to nine. Okay. In my opinion, Snapcaster Mage and Serum Visions are really bad cards. A lot, a lot of matchups. That's fair. All right, there's Bob into Bloodstained Mire. Not good. And just yield until next end step. So we probably have to just chump the Gurmag Angler here because we can't go down to two. Ugh. Just vomit. Overgrown Tomb. All right, spin it. Okay. Um. All right, cast it. All right, you sack a dude. Okay, now I think I have to attack this Liliana because they're just going to rebuy a Snapcaster Mage. We're going to go to one off of this and maybe, like, if they have a Lightning Bolt, we're just going to die. But I don't think we can beat, like, rebuying Snapcaster Mage. 40k Modern Event. I think that you're going to want to play Grixis Shadow in an event like that, Nameless. Because, like, while wow, Four Color Shadow might be better online, because it's a little more degenerate, I think that paper, you're going to find more... They discarded an Engineer Explosives and an Island. This is, like, a very old list. What is this doing? You going at me? Yes, they are. Okay. Another angler, Jesus. Let's 
So we go up to get their last card. It's dismember. GG's opponent. GG's. Because we block. Go. Yep. Good game, opponent. They got it. Forty K is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Those are good games. What are you confused about? Do we have like that much of a lag going on? So I think that the four the four color deck is is better against non interactive decks for sure. Um, like four color does better against nonsense. I think in paper there's less nonsense than on Moto. <clears throat> All right, we're going to keep your thought season to Tarmor Wave, which is what we're here to do. Love Tron, Valve, Hit and Burn. No, it's a 40k total, not 40k. I'm playing against Lantern, it, it seems like. We could be playing against Affinity, but this this makes me think of Lantern more. No, they take my discard spell. Yeah, it was a forty. It was a forty k first price. You'd see my, many more people from the United States flying down there. I believe so as well. Like, especially with humans on the way down, we can handle the Bant Spirits deck. It's not a bad card to draw. The question is, what are we supposed to lead with next turn? And I think it's, I think it's Lant, I think it's uh, Dark Confidant. Oh, I hate the versus. I think I would rather, if you're going to play like the whatever, Turbo Angler. Oh, man, they have a collective brutality. That's annoying. All right, well, because they can just brutality my Bob, we're not going to do They can just brutality my Tarma Life as well. Gross. Um, how are we winning? Are we winning by playing Bob and drawing like all of our resources here? I think Seer, I think Serum Visions is very good. I'm a big Serum Visions fan. I think I'm gonna play Tarmor Wife. Cause like this clock's not gonna matter. And I think I wanna find like Liliana's and Kolagon's commands. Dude, come on up for an SCG. You can stay at my place. So if they discard a card here, they actually don't kill Tarmogoyf, unless it's a sorcery, because of the way that Tarmogoyf works. Okay. It's 
So now we're going to play Bob, play Black League Cliffs, probably bolt them. I could be keeping track of their hand. I don't know anything about their hand, actually. That's another nice draw. Yield through this turn. I'm going to just yield until next end step. They double dis I mean, They might double discard spell me, so I shouldn't be lazy. But need to make it to the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in good shape. They're, they're drawing a bridge, which is important to note. But we are also going to start drawing two cards a turn. Oh, it's kind of cool with Bloodbraid Elf in this lantern that I can see what I cascade into. Which is cool. Like, if there's a removal spell on top, maybe we just don't play Bloodbraid Elf. But then, I guess, we force them to shuffle their lantern. I'm actually kind of a fan of playing against Lantern, but I think the games are actually kind of interesting until they've Lantern locked you. And like then, then they've just won the game. That's just whatever. A four drop. What is this? Is this like a... Is this like a Witchbane Orb? This, they play, if they drop Witchbane Arm here, we'll bolt them. Search your library for a card, put it in your hand, and then shuffle. Okay, so they, they actually get rid of their Ensnaring Bridge. And now if we hit a discard spell, we can like, boop, if there's a discard spell on top here, which would be gas. There's a discard spell on top. I wonder if they use their lantern to shuffle. <coughs> this Bob. This Bob is nice. Close. Opponent put a card in their hand and they have a lantern. Bolt you. All right, so we draw, always yield. All right, we have another Bob coming, and then now we can go Liliana. So let's see if this is worth them uh, popping their Lantern of Insight. Cast. We tick up, we ditch our bob. We have another elf on top. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't do that. There's the lantern. Now they have whatever card they put in their hand with the masterminds. It was a codex shredder. Wild. If they ditch my elf, take zero, play Liliana. Um, get rid of this. How much does this cost to get back? Five mana, which they have currently, so there's no sense in like... We could trophy... We could like trophy this, but I don't think, I just don't think we got to do that. Yeah, we're not ditching the trophies. SCG is so massively better at providing turn experience than Watsy. Yeah, for sure. I'm wondering if I want to bust anything because it'll at least, what do they have to search? May, it's just May. So there's no sense doing it there. Yeah, I think we're just going to wait and save these for bridges. But I'm fairly certain as long as these aren't bridges that we're going to win the game. We're drawing another elf next turn. Okay. I'm just going to go with no. I'm going to make them mill me, I guess. 
let them keep that thought sees. Because like they have to mill me, and then they're gonna have to mill themselves. And then their codex shredder is gone, and then they're gonna have to start popping lanterns. Okay. All right, now we got a pulse on top. Which is nice. And if all of this goes wrong, I'm trying to think. I actually think I want to get the Liliana going. They're drawing Thoughtseize. They can't draw two extra turns. They can't put anything back on. Because, like, just in case this all goes to shit, I think I'm going to want this in play. I'll just ditch this Raging Ravine. Keep the Tarmor Wave just in case they kill both of my creatures. All right. Dude, our sideboard is stacked here. We've got grudges. Well, winter mage is like whatever. It's not that great, but um, extraction. I don't know if extract. I don't know how good extraction is. But cards that we so now that we get those over there. Cards we know we can take out are lightning bolt. And Fatal Push. The only slam dunks we have are Ancient Grudge. Besides that, we can play Fulminator Mage to because A, it's a critter. And Scavenging Goose doesn't seem that great either. So, like, these are like the cards that are, these are definitely coming in. And I would like to make room for five cards no matter what to bring in here. Ugh. I like this. The duress is okay. Like they might have ley line and we're playing into that a little bit, but it's probably better than like a fulminator mage. Like sometimes you can, but like if I wanted to bring in fulminator mage, I want to have Liliana to try to like recur stuff. So what if I converted mana cost? Our sideboard is stacked. We have eight shatters in our deck after sideboard. Holy shnikes. I don't really want to keep the bolt because they're already boarding into four ley lines. Same reason, Rafi. They also just like needle lava boy too. He can get in there under that bridge. All right, I mean we're gonna keep this hand just get absolutely browned by a ley line. At least we have a maelstrom pulse. Okay, no ley line. Sweet. Yeah, but like, I don't think, I think Scooze is better than Bolt. We're going to take the Pixis. I could go like hit Codex Shredder, like Surgical Codex Shredder, but that seems kind of mopey. The Pixis can hit like an Ancient Grudge, which could be relevant. They might be able to ruin it back, but. So, kind of a weak discard spell because their hand's very redundant. I'm going to do Thoughtseize just to make sure we hit. Okay, Inspire. 
All right. Pulsing the Shredders isn't even that great because of Academy Ruins. And, but like, we do trade three for. They played their land. It's kind of interesting they did that. What did they target? They targeted themselves. And they kept it. All right, we'll take this needle. So they can just bring that needle back if they want, but they're probably gonna wait and try to mill over a lantern. I think I'm gonna extract this lantern of insight. Whoa. Oh, I must have had my F6 off. Tilt. That would have been a good card to surgical, baby. That's annoying. So now, because I don't want to get this thing. <clears throat> Shock command, welding jar, discard. They're drawing a Thought Seize. I don't really want them to Thought Seize my... I don't want them to Thought Seize my whatever it is. Um, my Surgical. I kind of just want to go like... Like, draw step, command them, shatter this, make them discard, untap, pulse this, Surgical it. That's kind of what I want to do. Because like they're not going to be able to do very much without this. Okay. But there's one card that I didn't know, right? And they kept it on top of the bottle. I could have commanded. Which might have been better. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, so we still get the card out of their hand. And now we're going to pulse this. And then I'm going to surgical it when they try to bring it back with Academy Ruins. So they're drawing Ancient Stirrings. Okay, so now with this on the stack, when they can't find it or, um, when they can't find it or or bring it back, we got a surgical of the lanterns. Now, even if they find bridge off of this, we can discard spell it. We do need to find a threat, though. So we can see how they sideboarded. My hand was pretty reactive. Okay, so they've got four bridges, obviously, and they have one Tezzeret to help them win the game. 
They have two inventors fairs. I should just take a picture of this. Yeah, if I had the command, I probably should have just shocked it and commanded. That probably would have been a better play, more mana efficient. Okay, so get bridge. <clears throat> so I need to find like a Tarmogoyf now. If I can find a Tarmogoyf, they milled me. We take this, get the bridge. They milled my they milled one of my tarmogoyfs. Maybe I messed up here. Maybe it was too aggressive, me going for surgicaling the uh, whatever it is. I mean, now if they try to mill me out, like I'm, I'm going to be able to at least I at least have two grudges. I don't know. Maybe maybe I played this game a little aggressively. They get their bridge back. If they continue to mill me, we have two ancient grudges. It's three Liliana's down. One trophy down. All right, so now let's just yield until next end step. If we don't see Leyline of Sanctity, which we haven't seen Leyline of Sanctity in their top 20 cards, then we'll board in the Lava Boy. There's kind of an interesting aspect here. If it's better for me to Assassin's Trophy this Academy Ruins... Right? Because if I Assassin's Trophy this Academy Ruins, then I only have to answer this one time, and I still have uh, whatever. So I should still should have stopped their upkeep, so I could have done it, made them do something different. But if I... Because <clears throat> if I hit this, I still have a, a Kologon's Command and a Maelstrom Pulse in my deck. But this Academy Ruins might be able to grind me out here. So I, I, I don't know if this is right to do, but I kind of just want to take this Academy Ruins. Yeah. We haven't seen a Ley Line yet. No, I should have trophied. I should have trophied in the upkeep to make it so that if I want the welding jar, then I just didn't have a stop there. That's what I should have done to make it so they have to they have to cycle the welding jar here. That's what I should have done. I made a mistake. I did it the wrong time. I should have upkeeped it. Yep, we're going to yield. Man, I'm getting like a million YouTube comments right now. I don't know how to disable it either. We'll just pass. They had a Tarmogoyf. 
Okay, that's not bad. She'll have to green up here. All right, we'll cast this. All right, Bobble will find us a way to deal with this. Now, what does this say here? This says, like, target pump is a top card. Sacrifice this return target card from your graveyard to your hand. That is very slow. We're still, we're out. We have four target points left in our, two target points left in our deck. Excuse me. Why do I play Grixis Shadow? I like the deck a lot. I think it's very good. It's, it fits the play style. It fits the way that I want to play the games. Inventor's Fair? No. Mistress Bobble. Inventor's Fair. Like it's just kind of everything that I want in a, in a, in a deck. There's Grudge. And then we hit Tarmogoy. Okay. All right, there's Pulse. Into Liliana. All right, we're doing it. Let me make sure that I leave a green up. Because we're going to be able to get an attack in here, but... What is going on here, Moto? But our opponent is going to be able to, because this is green, our opponent's going to be able to go for another one, but that's kind of slow. You've got to do this, right? Okay. And now we crack, and then we crack for five. Next turn, we crack for ten, actually. So this is actually a, a lethal attack. Next turn. I don't think I'm going to fetch. I'm not even sure if I have a fetchable land here. Like, I, I don't really know the list well enough to know if I have a land that I'm looking for. So what do they do? They target themselves with this, right? And now they can mill it with the Codex Shredder if they don't like it. Oh, they gain a life, so it's not it's not lethal. Inventor's Fair is too good. I'm going to go yield until next end step. We played this game weird, and I'm not sure if it was right for me to try to set up Surgical the Lanterns or not. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fetch. I think I'm going to try to leave the card in my deck. There, just continue to mill me, okay? Another Bob into a Bob. So I kind of like actually just attacking here, and then we've got one Blood Bright Elf left in our deck. We have plenty of three drops. We've got no Lilianas left. We have a Maelstrom Pulse and a Colagon's Command. So we've only got we've only got one four drop. We've got two, and we've got one three drop left in our deck. And I don't really want to take Liliana up because my opponent is likely going to Inventor's Fair for an Ensnaring Bridge. And they're going to keep the card in their hand. Well, I don't want to go Liliana tick up. I think I'm just going to fire up Ravine and put them to one. Because if they crack their Inventor's Fair here, they have two cards in their hand. They draw a card, have three cards. And it's going to be tough for them to get underneath Bob. But if we just play two other bobs, crack them for five, it's likely we're going to find a way to get this off the table, get a lantern off the table next turn. 
Because it's kind of disaster if our opponent um, has like ensnaring bridge plus other spells, which they likely do. They, they, so I think what I'm going to do is just play attack. I think I'm just going to attack and play two bobs. Because I think that they can empty their hand. Or at least get less than two cards and play next turn. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a little bit before I play Shadow. I'm a little burnt out on that deck. I've got one trophy, one command. One pulse, one grudge. So I have four out of 16, and I get four draw steps at it. And I, just, I don't think putting them to one is very good here. Because they're likely going to be able to empty their hand. So I think I think like just cracking with everything isn't great. It turns Colgon's command into an out to win the game. Okay. Oh wow. They did not have another card to play. So if we flip four into three into three, then we just die. But that's life. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All right. So let's begin combat. Well, it doesn't does it matter, Andy? I mean, like, I should have Inquisition first. Like, that would have been... Um, target player discards a card, destroy target artifact. Yeah, it's free. Exactly. You're, you're right. It's free. It would have been proper mechanics to do that. Yeah. No, you're right. It, it was free. Yeah, so it doesn't actually matter, but it is just right to do. Because there's no reason not to do it. Therefore, it matters. No, Andy was right. All right, we're two and one with our, with our relic. We're two and one with the old, the old deck here. I find my dredge opponent conceding just as fun. Let me grab some water for the next match. Okay. I would like to play first. Uh, you two. All right, we're looking to have fun tonight. I think I kind of just want to keep this hand and pray. Like, I'm not going to lie. Because, like, I don't – I'm going to keep this. I do not think I would keep this in an actual event. But tonight we are going to keep it because we're looking to spin the freaking wheel. That We're not going to be able to spin until turn five because of our lands because our lands are great. This is a mulligan in a real event. We're going to get browned so hard. I was just hoping that our opponent was going to go like tapped hollowed fountain. What do we want here? We probably want like not really that. 
God, my opponent's just gonna stick a Thalia and I'm gonna just get absolutely destroyed. And like deservingly so. Alright, that one's that one's beatable. Kind of. All right, Sagadoon. And then I will not cast my Bloodbraid Elf next turn because my lands don't come into play untapped, which is sad. Was this an image? No, it's a Mage Strider. Gas. Please attack my Liliana. Now my opponent's like, yeah, that card sucks. Um, all right, so I think the plan is we can either play Bob to chump or we can hope to deal with a creature with Kolagon's command. And then, because we're dead to Man Strider, um, we're dead to Thalia's lieutenant. And that's it. So we're going to hope my opponent ignores this. We're going to try to Kolagon's command something, sack with, and then spin the wheel into something sweet. And we totally deserve to die here. We kept a hand that we were just hoping. All we want to do is cast Bloodbraid Elf. All right. I can Coligon's command that. What do we got here? Phantasmal image. Okay. So this targets. Sure. So this is nine, we go to one, and we got like no outs. Right. <clears throat> Maybe it was better to play Bob and jump. Probably not, because we would have taken six in the air. So we have to hit a way to kill this Mantis Rider. We should use this first, just in case we cascade into a Liliana and our opponent wants to make a mistake. So it's like we've got two trophies, two pulses, a little in. And three Lilianas if our opponent's going to ape it out. Oh, that's gas. They ditched the Militia Bugler. So I'm going to think that... I guess we're going to hit Bolt, too. So we have way more outs than I thought. So there's, there's, I feel like there's a chance that this gets Reflector Maged. Or they have another one. Why do you do this to me? Opponent. Yeah. I mean, like, it made sense for them to have Reflector Mage. Yeah. You got it. And we deserve to lose that one. We, we kept a hand that was sweet. We were hoping that it was going to be sweet. But it's only sweet against, like, 12% of the format. We knew that when they ditched a Militia Bugler, they had some good stuff going on. All right. B-Boy wins. All right, so against humans, we side in Lava Man, Last Hope, and Anger of the Gods, and Huntmaster. 
cards we are cutting. I don't really know how to sideboard here. But I'm going to assume that like I don't want four Liliana the Veils. We're hopping on the modern Jund Reddit here. Jim Totsies and some of Liliana go for board wipes. Okay. So like I don't think we want these. We might bring them back in on the play. Cut some of these and then cut like an elf. Because BBE seems kind of slow. Yeah, the veil is decent on the play, I think. I'm going to cut more of them on the draw. Like on the draw, I'm going to bring this Bloodbraid Elf and this, and like a Thoughtseize back in or bring in both Thoughtseizes. I'll probably, br I'll probably bring in both Thoughtseizes and cut the Lily out of the veils on the draw. When I used to play Lily out of the veil decks, I was very big on cutting them on the draw in a lot of matchups. I uh, thought they were just awful. But I love them on the play a lot. Maybe I should have more. I just picked a list. For what it's worth, I actually think Treetop's kind of garbage. Because look, look at the mana cost this thing. This whole deck's like black, double red, green, three scavenging oozes. I'm going to cut the veils in the draw. I think that like discard spell, removal spell, veil is a good way for me to win on the play. So maybe I probably should have one more. I probably should have one more veil in now that I think about it. All right, that sounds pretty good. So we'll keep this. Like it's lightning bolt into Bob, and then we can clean things up with scavenging news. We're gonna get overgrown tomb here. So we want we, even though if we have to kill something on their main phase, we're gonna get blood crypt, but we'd much rather get overgrown tomb for our scavenging news. I can't believe you said that we're gonna buy him out or kill him, Andy. That was so funny. When I was listening to that pot, when I was listening to that in my cube today, I just like that was just hilarious. Alright, so we're gonna kill this. We're going out of 17. Which is like a little dangerous, but I would like to play Bob on an open board. Second Bob, not great. No, you just like stone cold went through it. But you look back at that and you're like, dude, we're just going to kill him. That's hilarious. Oh my God, are we going to get to... Uh, no, we're not. All right. Tarma Wife is big. Um... I think I'm going to, uh, well, the problem is if I attack with Bob and my opponent Reflector mages me, they crack me for four. I don't really mind chumping away Bob. Because, like, so maybe it's better to just, like, hold a removal spell. I should have attacked first. I'm going to attack and then hold Assassin's Trophy. Actually, I'm just going to attack if they block. Then I, I I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to Maelstrom Pulse this. Like, just going to be mana efficient. If we hit a two drop next turn, if we hit a land next turn, I can go like Tarmogoyf plus Trophy. Like, this is kind of a mopey use of a Maelstrom Pulse, but I have so many twos in my hand that I want to be able to double spell. 
And if we get Mantis Rider here, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be all right. I mean, that's good for the home team. That's either good or really scary. All right, it actually looks pretty solid. So opponent cracks us for two. Our mail supposed will be nice right here, but. All right, nice. So let's attack, and then I think we're just going to play two Tarmogoyfs. And then next turn, go Scavenging Ooze, eat, eat. We're going to have to be conservative with our scavenging is next turn. Like, we probably have to, like, scavenging is hold, eat two things, which is going to shrink our Tarmogoyf. But I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be nice. Like, our opponents, I don't really know what our opponents got going on. They might have just, like, a handful of Reflector Mages. And if they have a handful of Reflector Mages, playing two Tarmogoyfs is pretty good. I think playing Ooze right now is kind of weak. When I can just put eight power on the board. You imagine my opponent goes like Reflector Mage, Phantasmal Image, Reflector Mage. Wow, they were supposed to have they were supposed to be flooding so bad. When we're just not have anything to do. They can't even play Mage. Oh, they could have played Mage Shredder. Wow. Two lands, like a professional. But oh, we have Mage Shredder covered. Famous last words. Then we're going to play a tapped overgrown tomb. Even though the black leaf cliffs like guarantee comes into play tapped, I would just like to have access to more green mana. But I guess like we've got what three sources of green mana already. I doubt we're going to need more than that. So I think I'm actually just going to play the black leaf cliffs tapped to give me an option to. Um, to give me an option to like go either three drop, three drop, or something like that. This has been just an absolutely atrocious draw from my opponent, though. Like, I don't really know what they've got going on here. We actually can like kill an ether vial to pump our voice if if that becomes the line. The reflector mage. What are you reflector maging, my friend? So they're reflector maging this. Do we gain life or do we just shoot it? <clears throat> I kind of just want to kill it. And I think I'm going to do that. They get a land so they can potentially play something here, so we'll see if we get punished. Like they can they can play another reflector mage. But they have to start like chump blocking here. All right, we revealed a Tarmogoyf. So now I think I'm cool just sending in here with everybody. If they if they block my Bob, they block my Bob, and that's okay. I'll just play another one, I think. And then if they want to just like, okay, they're going to... Okay. 
play this. Play this tap land. So if my opponent Reflector Mages my Tarmogoyf, cracks me for five, we're still not dead from a block. This feels like the hope that we flip Bob. Okay. Okay, so we're going to cut our other Lily out of the Veils in the draw. And I think we're probably going to bring in two Thought Seizes. So we're going to cut these, bring my duress, it's like a thought seize. Does this work on either vial? It doesn't work on either vial, right? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't bring it in anyways, I'm just actually just kind of curious. I'm going to go like this. I love Hunt Master of the Fells is so good against humans, because you just like flip and it kills like Kite Sail Freebooters, kills Meddling Mages. Kills phantasmal images, stabilizes the board. I love me some Huntmaster of the Fells. And plus, it's Rob Meadows' favorite card. So, like, we gotta love it. All right, so we have. Triple discard spell into Bob. Into a Liliana. I think I'm going to keep this. It's a little sketchy, but we have ways to interact on one. We can interact twice on two and then play a last hope. And then hopefully we can kind of like trade our way to, Bob, to uh, Bob and have Bob help us out a little bit. All right. We drew a four drop. All right, so we're just going to take Meddling Mage. Kind of an odd hand from our opponent. I wonder if our opponent's supposed to bring in Dismember. I'm just going to take both of these. And just clear away so that if we have to play Dark Confidant next turn, we can. <laughs> Here's Ziggurat. Our opponent found a play. All right, Bugler's, Bugler's like their best one. Values to 10, okay. Things are gonna get difficult. I would like to hit a land drop here, gas. So now I can Thought Seize the Lieutenant, fetch a basic and play Bob. Then take, I'm gonna go to 12. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna take six, so I'm gonna be at nine. Alternatively, I can just play my last hope and pick this off. But if I don't thought seize them, my thought seize is likely not going to do anything for the rest of the game. And the last hope can pick the bob off here. Yeah, I think we're going to do this because it's our last opportunity to do something like that. But then, so what does our Liliana do? Our Liliana is going to go bang, shoot the noble. It takes three, goes to one. Next turn, if they don't draw a two drop, we go bang, shoot your lieutenant. They draw a two drop, it kind of goes to shit. But this also makes us save us life, so the bob becomes better. Yeah, this line's better. 
I'm going to go fetch a forest. This line of play is better. Because, okay, worst comes to worst, it buys us time. Because, like, they're going to attack this Liliana. If they don't attack the Liliana, I don't think they're going to win. Yeah, no, chat, chat was right on that. It means that we basically have mulliganed because there's a chance that this thought season isn't going to do anything for the rest of the game. Unless they draw a clunky spell here. Like if they drew a two drop here, it's it's like worst case scenario. And it appears they did. It's a freebooter. Okay. We take my discard spell, which doesn't really do anything. Okay. So if I plus on this, I can then trophy this, and this Liliana only takes one unless they hit a human. Is that better than just playing Bob? Like plusing here, playing Bob? I kind of like plusing here. And then playing Dark Confidant. Because like if, if we can get Bob going, we're going to, uh, like, we're going to be able to do stuff next turn. And our opponent likely has to send their entire attack at Liliana. Image. That's gross. What do you do? Image. Probably image. Probably image lieutenant. And then you can send the bugler at me for four and send the fright, fright, the. Freebooter, they're doing their own Bob. Okay. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. All right, Liliana down. All right, come on, Bob. Double lightning bolt, you don't say. All right, so we're definitely bolting this. Um, I could draw step, bolt the bugler, or I could take this opportunity to just hit this and get him for two, because I'm not blocking. And I think I like just attacking for two over the marginal, um, the marginal, uh, upside, I guess. Well, he made a bad attack. He should have copied bugler. No, he should have copied lieutenant. I think he should have copied Lieutenant because then he could go Freebooter at Liliana uh, and send five points of, four points of damage at me, which matters. He doesn't get the, oh, you're right. Yep, you're right. That, that's the right play for sure. All right, Lava Man into Tarmogoyf. That sounds like two fantastic plays. No, you're, you're definitely right, Psycho. I uh, know I played the I played the I played the instant on my turn, Teddy, so that I could attack with my with my bomb. Gas. I think we probably just spin the wheel. We can lava man here. I actually kind of like lava manning here and playing a tap land and then holding. Because I don't want to spin the wheel into a spell and not be able to play it. So, 
let's just pass. Well, if we hit a spell, we can't cast it because of Thalia. Okay, we're going to take this shot, and then we're going to gun this Thalia. Well, now we probably have to shoot this with the Lava Man. So you take my bolts. You look at scavenging ooze. Oh, there's only like lands in the graveyard. That was a pun. All right, there's a hunt master, which is a little dangerous. I definitely messed up here, for sure. So let's play the hunt master. We're gonna gain some life. If our opponent does now our opponent has to cast a spell next turn or we get to shoot something. We're probably gonna shoot this lava, this uh this thing here. And then we might think about just killing our own Bob. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna kill this. Some mayor. So I'm going I'm to kill this Freebooter and look to block out down here, I think. I'm okay trading my Bob off at this point. So let's just get rid of what well, we're supposed to get rid of. Like, I could just, I can just chump this Lieutenant and then, like, set up a good block on this here. I don't have any, really any idea. I just, I just picked this deck up because I wanted to. Does our opponent see the line? Yeah, they're not attacking because they know Bob is on their team. All right, Bob, don't do me like that. We only have two four drops left in our deck. The pause here is not good. Looks like Moto is tweaking out here. Yeah, it looks like Magic Online is, is losing it here for a second, so bear with me. Flip my Huntmaster. Now you can't hear me. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We're good now. Okay, yeah, my, my OBS slash Moto tweaked out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pass. I assume they have a land in their hand, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to flip our Huntmaster. I'm going to kill this Thalia. And then we're going to figure it out after that. We might just kill our Bob also because we probably don't need extra cards to win this game. Or we can try to stack our triggers so that our Huntmaster flips back on our turn. So we'll think about that also. Okay, so how does this work? It doesn't really matter.
I don't think we have to yet. So mine goes on the stack. Targets our opponent. Targets mayor. Is that how that works? Or is this thing going to become a 3-3 before it flips? No, yeah, that's how that works. That's how it works. It used to work in standard. Like if you were on the draw, I believe you used to board out your hunt masters. And now we have a land in the graveyard, so our tunnel life is a little bigger. And now, instead of Lava Manning, we're just going to cast two spells. Um, bang. Bang. You never... Yeah, exactly. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I had to kill this. this is zoning out. All right, so let's get rid of this and this. Now, do we want to bolt our own Bob? We probably just want to bolt our Bob. Especially this Hunmaster. Like, we get kind of browned by a... All right, we drew another Bob, so we would have taken two. This is going to flip our Huntmaster. Cast. So now I can actually just attack with my Tarmogoyf because if my opponent blocks it, then we just trade um, Lieutenant for Goyf because of the the, bu the the Lava Man. We could Inquisition our opponent, but I'm not sh really sure what they would have. Let's save a Resto. We can get blown out here by Restoration Angel. I think even Resto is not that bad. Okay. So now our Huntmaster flips. We could have played land there. Didn't really think about that, to be honest. All right, sweet. We're gonna you gonna hit my wolf. Deal. So again, I could just like, now I can't get my Huntmaster to flip. So we're just going to start attacking in here. My opponent wants to, yeah, they want to trade. And while, so... While I like value as much as the next person, we are just going to play a land. Might as well here. There are two lands that make sense. Uh, return target creature, deal two damage to our opponent. Play this and pass. Things got a little tense there for a while, but that was a fun game. Yeah. It was a fun game. And it's so bad that these decks like aren't that much like because like these decks these decks create fun games. You know, these like these blue control decks and these jun decks. Death Shadow to an extent, but it's not quite as fun. It's much more stressful. It's difficult. Because, like, I enjoy playing this deck a lot. 
Looks like we're getting like the whole concession thing going on here. Okay. I'm going to go put my slippers on, get some more water. We'll be back for here. Going for the 4 1. Oh, we missed it. I might as well do up here, do this right now. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Cardholder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, if you want to support me more, head over to my YouTube channel, which is linked below. And subscribe there. Watch the videos. I put all my streams up there. Uh, if you want to talk, chat with me about Magic, you can check me out on Twitter, which is also linked below. And if you're looking for online cards, check out Card Hoarder, as they support me. They support a lot of streamers by loaning them cards. And if you need paper cards, check out Gamer Craze, which is a store in upstate New York that fosters a college environment. So they have pretty good, uh, pretty competitive pricing. So if you're looking for cards, just check them out. Okay, get this here. Yeah, I mean, we need to draw lands, but it's it's tough to you know, when our, especially when our opponent mulligans, and is like going to be down two cards because they're on the play, compared to us. Water grave. Playing its mill. Nice jokes on you. We don't have a fetch land. I have a feeling this Bob is going to live for a long time. Well, we're going to make sure it lives for a long time. All right, well, we're not going to fetch. Because we know they have an archive trap. We will play Dark Confidant. And we're going to hit them with a double discard spell before we fetch next turn. <coughs> we do have to kill this crab here. Because we're not putting on like that good of a clock. And they will eventually like critical mass us out of the game. Okay, nice. So now we just have like an absolutely aces turn where we just take the cards out. I need to. Okay. All right, take glimpse. Thought seize. Take archive trap. We'll fetch now. While we can, we're going to get a green source. So we'll get green red. Bolt this thing. Crack for two. And then the Bloodbright Elf should speed up the game for us. I think we're pretty set here. We drew two lands. Blood Elf is going to be a little weaker. Pretty bored. No. Don't mind if I do. I will ditch the other Liliana. As we should not need it. They discarded an Ensnaring Bridge. I forgot they played that. How's it going, Neil Drox? Neil Drox? So this thing still isn't turned on yet. 
All right, Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is good. We'll ditch. Whatever this land. I guess I shouldn't have even. I didn't. I guess I wanted a plus because I wanted to get up there to be able to kill an ensnaring bridge if we have to. We can even gain a little life if we need. Now this is 20 or 25. This card's nuts in cube draft, by the way. Because like it's pretty easy to get less than 20 cards in cube draft. Am I even aiming my camera here? No, not quite. I'm going to tip this down a little bit. Um, all right. Okay, so against this deck, we don't really have a lot. Dress is good. Fulminator Mage is probably better than some of the cards that I have, though I do want answers to, um, probably just want Ancient Grudge too. I want these cards before. The cards I'm not really excited about. Not excited about this. Not excited about these. Not really excited about Bloodbraid Elf. So maybe I just go like this. I don't mind Fulminator Mage against combo decks. Yeah, we brought in the grudges for the bridges. Let's see what this looks like. I don't, probably don't need all of these. Maybe like three and three. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna go to four blood ray elves and one and two fulminators. I'm gonna bring in more fulminator mages while I'm the play. Fulminator mage is like a, a good play draw card in my opinion. It's similar to like Liliana of the Veil. Like Liliana of the Veil, is, like each card is better on the play, so that doesn't really make sense. Like you don't sub them for each other, but they are similar with that. Because so I think you just bring in fulminator mage if you have crap cards. Which blood ray elf might be a crap card. It might be too slow. They do have some high impact lands. Twitch chat, you want to go? You want to see my dog? Philly's over here just chewing on his toy. Hey, Philly boy. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there under the table. Oh, here he comes. Hey, sit. There he is, right there. High five. All right, pound it. Good boy. We've been working on that one. You're such a good boy. You are. I'm going to give him a treat because he did his sex right. I'll be right back. Sit. 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 Okay, eat the rest of it off the floor and then come back and have some more. Yeah, dude. My dog is the man. My dog fist pounds me. All right, I'm going to keep this hand because they might have ley line. And, like, we have two bobs to help draw us into what we need for interaction. And a Luliana Veil, which is pretty good. And the mage. Like, I, I hate mulligan hands like this with this deck. So I think I'm going to keep it. Because if they do ley line, like, a good way to beat this Jun deck is to, like, if you load up, you mulligan to a hand with discard spells and they have ley line, like, you just can't win. And I think just, like, keeping hands like this is kind of what you sign up for. Billy boy. No, we got one more piece, bud. Eat it, bud. Took my Liliana. I'm gonna surgical my Lilianas. 
God, I'm so good at this game. It's also kind of cool we don't fetch here. Flimps, you got it. All right, so we flipped a grudge. Well, we're going to be... Okay, so they get the Fulminator Mage out of my hand. But they only have three cards left. So I'm not super worried about it. So we have like no clock, but our opponents also seems to be kind of out of gas, especially considering like that surgical. As, as long as they didn't flip a bob, like that surgical would have wrecked us if there had been a dark confidant in the graveyard. <clears throat> Draw me some cards. All right, we drew an elf. I'm going to get Archive Trapped. Let's get a Forest. So, I'm going to fetch and... Um, okay, you got it. I'm going to fetch here and play Liliana. I'm going to search my Lilianas. Okay. And I am going to fetch just a Tap Land on this turn because I want to get all my mana going. I don't really know what this does. Like, my opponent's doing, like, some cute stuff, but... Let's just get an Overgrown Tomb. Play another Bob. And then crack you for two. And we get to crack you for four. And then we can play Blood Red Elf next turn. We get to play Blood Red Elf at least whack for seven. Bolts, trophy, gas, in before damnation. Oh shoot! I hit, I thought it was gonna ask me to like if I wanted to cascade like okay. Okay. It wouldn't really have mattered, but. I thought I was going to be like, do you want to cascade? Okay. That's not what happened. All right, we drew Grudge. We drew Double Tunnel Life. I'll probably just run out one Tunnel Life here. Bad Junda Shadow Player. I agree. I think that this deck is not very good. I, it, it is very fun to play, and like I'm having a great time. Like just flipping some blood bright elves is gas. Missions briefing, you got it. Uh, and snaring bridge. So what are you gonna do here? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can take both my timer wives. I'm not gonna play out another another uh, creature. And we're gonna leave the cards in our hand. No crypt incursion. Our opponent's smart. They left the Tarmogoyf in the graveyard for Crypt Incursion. All right, we got there. I got the old 4-1, which is nice. We had two subscribers during the league, so let's open up some treasure chests.
And then I guess we can just – I'm going to play a little more. I might not be able to finish my league before I go to bed, but I'll at least start another one. Because I have to wait at 5.30 a.m. All right, open up one of these. We have two subscribers. Oh, Joe, how's it going? We have three subscribers. Let's open up three treasure chests. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good chest. What do we got here? We got Sarkin. Sarkin Fireblood. Exclamation point. E price. Sarkin Fireblood. All right, nice. Um, this is, this is the Rab one, so no good. All right, open up two more. That's a good chest. Especially how low they are right now. I probably should be buying. Like, it'd be kind of makes, I mean, I can't really buy chests because I'm out of tickets. But, do you play points? All right, let's jump back into another league. We'll get at least a couple matches in here. We'll keep it on the same YouTube video, too. I don't really want to break it up for... If we end up playing two leagues, we end up playing two leagues. Oh, no. We don't want to be in that one. Return to details. I appreciate the sub, Joe. Uh, we're not going to play Shadow tonight. I might not play Shadow for a little bit. I'm just, like, a little shadowed out. I have so many decks that I want to play. Anyways, like I want to play the Arclight Phoenix deck. Um, I want to play Infect. I kind of, I like, I want to play more KCI to just learn the deck, but that's just an absolutely great streaming experience. It's Ryan. Oh, I thought Rin's Kiln was Joe. Sorry. Well, I appreciate it, Ryan. Because like I have a friend that's name is like. Joe Rincione, and like while that's not exactly what you have going on with your name there, I thought it was close. Before Delver, yeah, Delver's time's modern's over. You should just like like Delver is such a sweet card in Legacy, and it was really sweet when Probe and Treasure Cruise were legal. But like every time that you pick up a Delver Secrets and you think about playing it. You should just, like, do yourself a favor and, like, not. It, it, it's just, like... Okay, Ryan... Ryan... A uh, Ryan a coin. Right? Ryan a coin. Now, like, on my... Spe my skills are on... Speaking skills are on Twitch. Close enough. Twitter.com. Okay, so we're just going to play this Twilight Mire. We're going to knock the top of the deck. We're playing against Old Goblin Guide, actually. We get, to know, we get to learn our fate pretty soon. Okay. So we're not drawing a land. I should have restarted Moto in between rounds. I thought Delver deck that was close to the Legacy version of Shadow Build, but just gave it a turn one threat. Yeah. Didn't you play Delver decks for a while? I seem to remember you top eight at a regionals, Ryan, while I I think we both top eight at a regionals, and you were playing Rick Stelver. Alright, well we're playing against goblins, so I'm gonna get browned here. Alright, I have I yield. We gotta land. We gotta land though. Yeah, I mean Delver Secrets is cool. Like, oh, we just like we're just playing it for fun, Tannen. I I enjoy playing Jund. You know, like, wait, I need a, I gotta restart Moto. I would like to sideboard before I have to restart Moto. Okay, well, let's see if we can get Moto back going before we don't get the ability to sideboard.
Go like this. Give the card hoarder spiel again. Card hoarder's great. Game of Praise is where I learned to play Magic. The stored link below. And you can find all my streams on YouTube and as well as on Twitter. You voted to Jund? Jund Jund's fun. Like, just playing Jund is fun. It's it's not super good, in my opinion. Like it just there's just too much of modern wow. Like Moto is still just like tweaking out here. Like Moto's still losing their mind. We're not gonna be able to sideboard, which is great. Last time Delver was playable, yeah. Because then didn't Delver get kind of like pushed out of the format when like Liliana the Last Hope and Collective Brutality came in the format, like Eldritch Moon, pretty much. Snap mode is that's on my list. I would like to play that deck at some point. All right, Moto just turned off. Yeah, I would like to play that Phoenix deck just to understand it more. Whoa, Moto is reinstalling. What is going on? Look at this. Moto just was like, <coughs> we're just dying. Phil, here, buddy. Philly boy. Philly boy. Philly boy. Philly boy. Oh, Philly boy. Oh, Philly boy. Oh, Phil. Oh, Phil. See, he's a lap dog. We have a 70 pound lap dog. Billy boy, you checking out Twitch chat? Do you see mom on a computer? I like this. See this, Phil? Do you see mom? Do you? Oh, you're like, no, dad. This is scary. Oh, good boy. All right, Moto, come on, Moto. Moto is a potato for sure. Dog hype. I did tricks on him on stream here for a second ago. This is just great. We're not even going to be able to sideboard. Play Arena. Thank you, Tim. He is very cute. I would play, like, I, I kind of want to play Arena. But I also just, like, enjoy not spending money on Magic cards. But if I was going to, like, actually stream for, like, more than a hobby, then I would play Arena. Just put a dog on camera. Exactly. All right, come on. Come on, Moto. You can do it. Here's this cute picture of me and my wife. Family. No matter what, if Benji's on stream. Come on, Moto. Phil, why is Moto not working? Philly boy, why is Moto working? Tell them. Dad, I don't know why I feel I don't know why it's not working. I don't. High five, bud. Yeah. Ready, bud? Pound it. Philly boy, pound it. He didn't do it. He just he bops my fist sometimes when we work on this. No, I need to just, like, put a GoPro on Phil. I don't know what's going on. We might have to call it here. It stopped because you were playing Jund. You're killing me, Nilla. I just clicked it, like, 37 times. Now there's going to be, like, 38 iterations of Moto comes up. My computer's just going to die. Here we go, Moto. Here we go. We're going to give this about three more seconds. A couple more. Well, maybe a little more than three seconds. I'm going to put a little effort into it, and if this doesn't work, we're going we're gonna to call the stream. Because Moto is a high-quality product. Project. When this happens, I normally have to reinstall Moto. I don't really want to do that. Magic Online. How would you
would you how likely are you to recommend a Windows search to a friend or colleague? Yeah, you know, I probably would do it. My computer just talks to me when I need reassurance in life. It just like sends in little messages over here. You have a virus. All right. It does not appear like magic online is working. I believe Drake Sasser is streaming though. Twitch.tv slash what is it? Viral Drake, I believe. Oh, well, Moto is coming back, but I don't really want to risk it tweaking out here. So I think we're just gonna send you guys over to Drake. So let's go over here. I'm just gonna raid you guys over to Viral Drake. All right, I appreciate you all for showing up and hanging out. I am sorry that things did not really work out here, but that's kind of cost of business. Right on your friends, 0% for sure. But go over to Drake's stream, have fun. I hope everyone has a great rest of their night.